Hey everyone, it's that time, it is I, and I was trying to debate which of these films I should present first because they're very similar. So today, first off, we're giving you my review of Spiders, or Spiders 3D, uh, brought to us by Tybor uh, Takas. Uh, I probably mispronounced that. Basically where we get the story of uh, Patrick Muldoon playing Jason, a guy who runs a New York, he's in charge of a station of the New York transit system, coordinating, you know, the, the subway system and that. But when a piece of a Russian satellite crashes to Earth, it unleashes vicious spiders which grow very very quickly and we see how he as well as a couple other individuals try to fight these spiders all the while you have the military trying to contain these spiders for other nefarious purposes and we'll see how the two clash and the spiders get bigger all in New York City Yes, folks, uh, this is fun. Uh, Patrick Muldoon puts in a great performance here as Jason, and I enjoyed this film a lot more than I thought I would. One of the reasons, not only performance, was just the writing. I enjoyed the story in this film, and while they did put a little bit of the cheese factor in there, you could tell they're actually trying to make kind of a, a serious spider film in this. Uh, there is comedy in here, but they really were uh, taking a little more serious vein, and I, I appreciated that quite a bit. Now, the spider designs and hearing the story they came up of why the spiders were growing so, so quickly, that was fun. I, I did not expect them to take the route that they did. And the special effects in here, for one, really look good. These spiders look great. Uh, you know, the CGI was blended in really well with this film. And uh, I would say that probably if they maybe had a few bigger names, they could have probably got this to the widescreen. I'm not sure why not. We need more monster films on the widescreen. And this definitely was one that could deserve to be up there. Uh, you know, they talk about how they quarantine off this neighborhood area and the clash between our local law enforcement guys and the military was also an interesting uh, topic to address. And yeah, I, really, if you like the monster films, this one should, if you haven't seen it already, you should see it. Now, uh, there is gore in here as well. Not a whole lot. There's blood, though, in here. <laughs> and uh, I didn't expect it to take the direction it did. I mean, obviously, yes, they're going to fight the spiders. Uh, but uh, how they fight the spiders, and especially how they come to uh, taking out the spiders, well, uh, you'll have to watch to find out. And is it set up for a sequel? Who knows? What I do know is that uh, here is one of two spider films that are very similar in vain, but it is more serious of the two. The other review that I'll do is The Big Ass Spider, which by that title alone you can tell maybe uh, is a little less serious than this one, but uh, no more, uh, no less enjoyable. So. Spiders, or Spider 3D, if you will, well-directed and edited, uh, good, solid performances in here, and some fantastic special effects, which is all you really need for a monster film like this. If you have seen Spiders, please tell me, let me know what you thought of this movie. If you liked this one, which one you liked more, this one or Big Ass Spiders? Love to hear your thoughts and comparisons on it. So close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate every single one of you, as always. And remember, keep that ticket stub.